I'm Noreen and welcome to my kitchen. Let's take that basic flatbread dough and make something for supper. How about we make a super cheesy chicken flatbread? Let's go see how we make this. Alright, I did my basic flatbread dough and I showed you how to do that in another video. And right now I'm just kind of stretching it out and I'm going to put it on a pan. And then we're going to top it with the things that we would make our super cheesy chicken with. So, I think that you're going to enjoy that. Alright, right, now I've got my dough and I have a pan over here. It has a little bit of semolina flour in the bottom of it. And that you can use, instead of semolina, you can just go ahead and use cornmeal. It's not a big deal. And you don't have to be perfect here. You can just spread it out. Um, in my flatbread video, I explained that you can do several smaller flatbreads or one big flatbread, or you can cut it in half and make two medium-sized ones. It's entirely up to you. The beauty part about a flatbread, which is a little bit like different than a pizza, this is going to be a little on the chewier side and not so puffy from my regular pizza dough. And it's going to be a little more dense. And it's going to be a little more airy. It's going to be really beautiful. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to get a rubber scraper. And I have my oven preheated at 450 degrees. And I cooked my chicken ahead of time, and I used some um, barbecue sauce. And this is just the sauce that was left in the bottom of the pan. And we're going to use that on our flatbread today. So we don't want to waste that. So I'm just going to give this a light coat with this barbecue sauce. And the other thing, uh, a flatbread is whatever you make it. You can, I've seen flatbreads of any kind. You can make it with just herbs and olive oil. You can make it with uh, blue cheese and apples or goat cheese and pears and some honey, maybe some pomegranate molasses, olive tapenade, maybe some delicious Parmesan cheese shavings. You can just serve it with an herbed olive oil and use it for dipping, and it's all good. So what I have done here, and I'm going to use my hands, is I have three chicken breasts that I cooked, and you saw me do the super cheesy chicken. This is one of my girl's favorite, favorite ways to have chicken. In fact, Micah just said to me, this is what I want for my birthday dinner. <laughs> my family has a habit of doing that. Every time I make something delicious, they say, that's what I want for my birthday dinner. Then, when the time rolls around for their birthday dinner, I go, what do you want for your birthday dinner? And they go, I don't know. I'm so mm -hmm. chicken <laughs> remember that for a year. You do remember chicken paprikash every year. <laughs> Because I don't make that but once a year, maybe. So I'm just going to take this chicken. And this is three chicken breasts that I split in half like butterflied. And I pan seared them with a little of my sedged chicken rub. And then after they were just about cooked all the way, I spooned a little bit of my almost sweet baby raised uh, barbecue sauce on the top of the chicken and I just let it kind of cook in and then I turn my cast iron skillet off and I let it cook the rest of the way because the residual heat was there. So this flatbread is going to be very generous on the toppings because you can. This is going to be a very sturdy dough and when it comes out of that hot oven it's going to be just delicious. The other thing about flatbread is it's not a pizza, so it's not dripping with mozzarella cheese or any kind of cheese. It's going to have some cheese, not a ton. But then again, like I said, this is your flatbread. You make it however you want it. I have several slices of bacon. I took six slices of this bacon that were already pre-cooked. I pre-cooked them. But I took six slices and I heated them up in the pan that I cooked the chicken in. So that is why some of them look darker than the others. Like I said, you make your flatbread however you like. But I thought this particular chicken dish was an excellent candidate for a flatbread or a pizza. You make it how you like it. 
Now that is far less cheese than I would put on a pizza. So that's where we're going to leave that. I need some more over there. Yep. Okay, thanks, honey. The cheese police. The not enough cheese police, rather. All right. Okay, this goes into a 450 degree preheated oven. I'm going to put it pan directly on my scone and we're going to let that bake for about 15 minutes. When it's time for that to come out, we'll be back and we'll show you what it looks like. All right, our super cheesy chicken flatbread is ready to come out of the oven. And we're going to let this sit for just a moment before we cut into it. And then we'll come back and we'll show you what it looks like. I can't wait to eat this. Mm -hmm. All right, we're ready. Our pizza, our pizza, our flatbread is all ready to enjoy. Looks Look like at pizza. that. Look at that. And I'm going to show you the bottom. I have to hold these toppings on. Look how beautiful that is. And mm -hmm. the semolina helped keep it from sticking on the pan. And then Rick's going to give this a try. I have to. Yeah, I have to. It's all in the name of science. Mmm. Mmm. It's crunchy on the bottom. Mm -hmm. Oh, that was good. It was really good. Mmm. It was really, really yummy. Oh, look at and rip it apart for you. You can see the crumb, and I'm dropping things all over the place, but that's all right. You can see the crumb on this dough. That's your piece. Oh, it's beautiful, and it's so tasty. Mm -hmm. You've got to give this a try. It's super easy. It's super delicious. It's, it's super cheesy chicken flatbread. Put anything you want on it. Anything you want. It doesn't have to be this, but use this flatbread. Even if you just make the bread... It's going to be amazing. So I hope you try this. I hope you love it. And until next time, I'll see ya. I want to go eat. Thank you for joining me in my kitchen today. I hope you liked what you watched today. And I hope that you try it. And I hope that you love it. Um, if you like what you saw, please consider hitting the thumbs up button and giving me a positive rating. And also, make sure that you hit the subscribe button if you're already not a subscriber so that you don't miss out on any of the fun we have here in our kitchen every single day. I hope that you enjoyed it. I'm really glad that you're here. Thank you for stopping by. Don't forget to come by tomorrow. Until next time, happy eating!